right, as you can see, I've just jacked up the car. Um, I put this uh, jack under the transmission, and um, the, the support you have in between the jack and the transmission is a hockey puck. It's just one like this. You can see this one here. So I don't need to put too much point pressure on it. I put the stand back there. And this one is a bit tricky enough to know where to put. And underneath this jack stand um, is um, it's an old writing under there. Now I release the pressure on the front. So the pressure is on that, similar to this one. And it's a bit of a point pressure. I don't know if I should have put it further back, maybe on this part. But you can't really reach in further onto the solid part of the transfer case, so you're stuck there. Um, well, it seems like it's supporting it. And now I'm gonna let down the front a little bit and put the jack stand there as well. Uh, one way that you actually can monitor the progress, how much you jacked up the, the transmission is to look at these bolts over here. Uh, this is the transmission um, stud support and these are the transmission transmission stud support. These are the transmission um, support on these ones. This, this transmission support, I will change it now while I take down the, the um, skid plate. But if you screw them out half a centimeter, then you will see when you have um, jacked up the trans or the transmission half a centimeter from the actual skid plate, so you know that you relieved pressure on the skid plate, and uh, you only need to remove the pressure from the skid plate before you take it off. So now we have both jack stands in place. The front one is uh, just touching uh, the transmission, the bell housing, and uh, the back one is actually supporting the entire transmission lineup. Um, the front one serves as a purpose for security uh, when I'm taking down the skid plate. And uh, it's about one centimeter of space in between that jack stand and the skid plate actually itself. So I hope I can get it down and uh, sort of angle it out.